Hi, this is Matthew Park with the YLSC. This is the 7th grade lesson 23 math preview video. Let's get started. Looking at number 1, there are 44 flowers in the flower garden. They are arranged in 6 rows. X flowers are in each of 5 rows and 4 flowers are in the last row. What is the value of X? Well, we know that there are a total of 44 flowers. And we also know that there are a total of four flowers in the last row. In addition, we also know that there are X flowers in each of five rows. So there are five rows of, say, X flowers. Converting this word problem into an algebraic equation, we get a pretty simple problem we can solve for. So all we need to do now is solve for x. First, we subtract 4 from both sides. Get 40 equals 5 times x. And now all we have to do is divide by 5. 8 is now equal to x, and we know that our answer is c. All we did in this problem was convert the word or the paragraph into an algebraic equation, and we just solved for x. Moving on to number 2. Solve for x in the expression below and mark the correct answer. 0.5x plus 3 is equal to 4.2. What we can do first is subtract 3 from both sides. And we get 1.2. Now all we have to do for solve, to solve for x is divide both sides by 0 0.5. And let's go ahead and do this. Remember, you have to move your decimal point over one, one place. So we could rewrite this as 5 divided by 12, 0, 2. Move up your decimal point, and we get 2.4. So our answer would be B. Nothing too crazy there. Just remember to solve your algebraic equation in steps. Let's look at number 3. 12 dogs and X cats together have 68 legs. How many cats are there? Well, we know that every single dog and cat has four individual legs. So if we know that there are 12 dogs, and we know that every dog has four legs, we can do 12 times four to get that all 12 dogs have in total 24 legs. We have X cats all with four legs, so we could convert that into an X and a four. And that equals a total of 68 legs. So now we have another algebraic equation we can solve for X. Rewriting this in a simple form, we have 48 plus four X is equal to 68. X is the number of cats, and the reason we have put a four in front of this is it because we know every single cat has four legs. We know that 12 dogs have 48 legs, and we're, we know that there is a total of 68 legs. So that's where each part of the equation comes from, and now all we have to do is solve for x. First, we subtract 48 on both sides. You get 4x is equal to 20, and x is equal to 5, after dividing 4 on each side. That makes our answer a. Let's move on to these. Mr. Moody creates math test questions five days in a week. He works X hours every day except Friday when he works 2.5 hours. If he works 22.5 hours for a week, what is the value of X? So we know that he works five days a week. He works on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We know that Monday, through Thursday, Mr. Moody works X hours. And we can call this from Monday to Thursday is four days. And in those four days, we know he works X hours, meaning we could write that as four times X, where X is the number of days, or I'm sorry, the number of hours he works. And we know on Friday, he works 2.5 hours. So we can just add 2.5 and set that equal to the total number of hours he works. So essentially, on Monday through Thursday, which is four days, 
we know that he works X hours. And in addition, on Friday, which is just one day, we know that he works 2.5 hours. So we can set up an algebraic equation, 4x plus 2.5, and set it equal to the total number of hours he works. And now all we need to do is solve for x, and we'll solve the problem. We subtract 2.5 first on both sides, get 4x is equal to 20, then you get x is equal to 5, making our answer A. For number 5, Solve for x in the expression below and mark the correct answer. 0 0.2 times x plus 5 is equal to 1.4. Well, first we want to get this x plus 5 by itself. So what we can do first is divide both sides by 0 0.2. That gets us x plus 5 is equal to... So we can do 0 0.2 divided by 1.4. Move your decimal point over 1. And you get 7. Subtract 5 on both sides, and you get x is equal to 2, making our answer b. You can try the rest of these on your own. And let's finish up with this. Solve the inequality. Essentially, we can, solve, we can treat the greater or equal sign, any one of these signs, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, greater than or less than, as equal signs when we're solving inequalities. The only catch is that whenever we multiply or divide by a negative number, we have to flip the sign over. So for example, say we do number 3. To solve this, we need to divide negative 6 on both sides. Just pretend that this sign is just an equal and we're solving a regular algebraic equation. But since we're dividing by negative 6, multiply or divide by a negative number, remember, we need to flip the sign. So we get y is greater than 36. That's the only catch. Otherwise, it's just solving basic equations. So say we rewrite this as 40 is greater than w divided by 5. If we were to relook at this, just say 40 equals w over 5. All we would need to do to solve this is multiply both sides by 5. We get 200 is equal to w. And basically, that's how we would solve this as an equal sign, and we would solve it the same way for the inequality with a greater than sign. Multiply 5 on both sides, and you get 200 is greater than w. Just remember that you can treat these as simple algebraic expressions, but all you need to remember is that if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you need to flip the greater than or less than sign. This will be it, and thank you.